Hey, the June numbers were okay. Hey, it's Eric Osnes with ericismybanker.com and CMG Home Loans with my weekly update on mortgage rates for the week ending July 26, 2024. Uh, the PCE, the Personal Consumption Expenditures Index, which is the Fed's favorite inflation indicator, uh, was okay for the month of June. Uh, the headline PCE dropped to 2.51% from 2.6%, may get closer to that 2% target that the Federal Reserve has. The core PCE, which strips out volatile food and energy prices, was a little bit up slightly to 2.63% from 2.62. That's a year-over-year -year number. Um, the shelter component, housing, owner's equivalent rent, that sort of a thing, um, uh, also is really important. It dropped to 5.35% from 5.54% year-over-year. Shelter is super important because it makes up for a large percentage of the overall PCE number, but it's a slow moving index. It's a 12 month rolling average. Uh, we should see that continue to decline in the months ahead, which will be good for overall rates. Next week is jobs week and also a FOMC meeting, the Federal Open Market Committee. Those are the guys with the Fed that determine uh, the direction of interest rates. Uh, we don't expect a Fed cut next week, uh, but bond analysts will be watching comments from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell very, very closely uh, to sort of look for hints of what their plan is for the future. We think there's almost 100% chance of a Fed cut in September at this point. For the week, mortgage rates slightly higher. Uh, here are the national averages. Conventional 30-year fixed rate, 6.91%. That's up 0.1 from a week ago. 15-year fixed rate, 6.33%, that's up 0.03. FHA and VA, 30-year fixed rates, 6.38%, that's up 0.1. And 30-year fixed rate jumbos, 7.07%, uh, those are up 0.04%. So moving on, I can buy a home with a reverse mortgage? Yeah. As homeowners reach their sunset years, the question often comes up, you know, is this still our forever home? Maybe it's too big, or it has too many stairs, or the maintenance is becoming a burden, or it's not close enough to the grandchildren, or the beach. Uh, for many, considerations for in-home in care can become a worry. Uh, purchasing a different home can solve these problems, but what about the financial impacts? Is it wise to drain retirement funds or take out a new mortgage in today's rate environment? If you're 62 years of age or older, a reverse mortgage can solve these problems and also help redefine your, your overall financial landscape. Uh, but first, what is a reverse mortgage? Most reverse mortgages are federally insured by FHA. There's also conventional and jumbo options as well. Reverse mortgages require no monthly payment, although you can make payments if you want to. Instead of paying the bank, uh, the bank can pay you. You can receive monthly distributions to supplement your income, or you can ask, access your equity with a line of credit, which is all part of the account. Uh, let's dispel, though, a few common myths about reverse mortgages. Uh, first off, will a reverse mortgage cause you to lose your home? No. If you live in your home as your primary residence, you pay your property taxes and insurance, and HOA dues if you have them, and if you maintain your home, you would never be foreclosed on. Number two, the bank owns my home. Not true. You retain 100% ownership in your home. The bank will have a lien on the property for the mortgage, but that's just like any other traditional mortgage as well. Number three, my heirs won't inherit anything. <clears throat> this is false. Um, heirs have the opportunity to repay the loan to keep the home, or they can sell the home and repay the loan. And if the home sells for more than what's owed, they get to keep the difference. Number four, the income received from my reverse mortgage will affect my social security and other benefits like Medicare, Medicaid. Not true. Because a reverse mortgage is a loan, distributions are not considered taxable income. It will not lower important social security and Medicare benefits. This is a topic you should definitely discuss with your financial advisor uh, because this can be a huge tax planning tool. And finally, reverse mortgages are expensive. Not true, as long as you're working with a reputable lender. Costs are similar to a traditional mortgage. The process for purchasing a home with a reverse mortgage is pretty simple. First off, meet with a 
experienced and highly qualified lender to take an in-depth application. Number two, attend a counseling session with a HUD certified consultant. Um, this is a program requirement and it ensures that you understand the program, all the, the pros and cons, as well as the details in terms of the loan. Number three, find a new home, make your offer. And number four, uh, your loan is processed just like a regular mortgage. We order an appraisal, title, escrow, that sort of thing. And finally, close on your new home with no monthly payments. Typical closings happen in about 30 to 45 days. I hope this gives you some information on reverse mortgages. Um, and, and it's really a, a program to keep in mind as you or your loved ones consider these really important lifetime decisions. I'm always available to answer questions. You can just reach out, call me 206-915-3742. You can email me eric at ericismybanker.com or look for me on social media. Just look for Eric is my banker and you'll find me. That's all I've got for this week. I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather and I'll talk to you next week.